Hey everyone, welcome to the analysis section of this course. And this area is very important, okay? And I'm gonna say this, that you cannot achieve a passing, a passing score. You cannot achieve a score of 65 or higher without dominating this section. So I really want you to master this section. And here's the introduction here. Of course, we are in the A for analysis in IRAC. And it's broken down into two parts. And the first part deals with a non-major issue analysis. And the second part deals with a major issue analysis. And we'll define those in a bit. And the time allotted on the actual exam is 35 minutes out of 60 minutes. So that's of course your typing out part and your writing out part of that, if that's what you're doing. There is a printout here. So for these next lectures, I do want you to print out these documents. And there are many very powerful formulas here. And I do want you to become very familiar with them. And if you print, it, if you print out the document, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to follow along. Let's start with the non-major issue formula. And we're gonna start off with the formula, with the structure of it. And notice that we're not gonna define the non-major issue just yet. But yet, we are gonna go straight to the formula. And I will suggest that you write it out at least three times, and there's gonna be three versions of the same formula here. You just, you just have to know one, okay? So whichever one you're comfortable, comfortable with, that's, that's awesome. And I do want you to know this formula through muscle memory. And muscle memory is developed through repetition. That's why we just do it automatically. Here's the formula right here. The element of the rule is or is not present because of this fact or reasoning. And here's another version. Element three is or is not present because of the fact or the reasoning. Now in a while, I'm gonna have you press pause. And before that, I'm gonna show you a dis distilled version of that phrase. And this is just to simplify the formula. So keep in mind that these words still apply. And eventually it's gonna be your judgment in any case that will determine whether the element is present or if it's not present. Or whether your analysis is based on a fact or it's based on reasoning deduced from a fact. And this will also apply to the use of the word because. And here we're gonna exploit it. We're gonna use because a lot, just to keep it consistent. We're going to explain what a non-major issue is. But for now, just keep this formula in mind. And I like the distilled version of that formula and we are gonna use that particular version throughout this lecture. So let's go on now to the next section.